When you think about Malibu, what comes to mind? Is it scenic coastlines, celebrities, and plenty of surfers? We are spending the weekend exploring this beautiful place to determine if it lives up to its name. Here at the Malibu Pier, they have a cafe and a restaurant, as well as a gift shop. It's a great place to go fishing. As you can see right here, they have rod holders all along the pier. We've seen dozens of fishermen. I haven't seen anybody catch anything yet, so I can't attest to the bite, but you can catch a view of the surfers out here. Surfrider Beach lives up to its name. It's known for its three-point break. And there's also the lagoon just past the beach. So there's a lot of birds. If you're into birding, bring out your binoculars. If you were coming from LA and have two days like us, I think this is a great place to start your morning. Like Reed said, there are a few restaurants you can eat at, but just coming here and looking out and starting your day here really sets you up for for a good day. We have made it to the Grotto Trail. This is a hike that's about 35 minutes away from the pier. All our animals are out and about. Bella is with me. Here's Rita. What? You feel like a wild kitty kitty? Oh my goodness, you're hyped. The hike's about an hour and a half. It's supposed to have a waterfall at the end, which I'm really looking forward to. Hi kitty. See you later. Adios, Rita. We don't have any service out here, so we might as well grab one of these. Circle X Ranch. It is very, very pretty out here. We definitely try to prioritize hikes that dogs are welcome on. There's a lot of different trails throughout the mountains of Malibu. It's pretty cool that you can kind of jump from trail to trail. There's a few that connect. If you want to get out into the mountains, Malibu has more than just beaches. And it's especially green right now because of the huge, huge, huge rain and flooding of a lot of areas in Southern California. Let me know in the comments if you're someone who loves the city or do you prefer somewhere off the beaten path? I better pick up Bella. We don't need muddy paws in the van. Yeah, got her. What? Come on. <laughs> I've just been told that there is some poison oak on this trail. So that is something we need to look out for, especially because our little cow loves to eat things off the trail. So we always have to monitor her. Bella, come on. Grotto trail three from five I don't know. We're just gonna keep walking and keep talking. I cannot stop smiling because I just feel so good out here. Fresh air, baby. If you're feeling anxious or stressed, get outside. It might not fix your problems, but it can help make things a little bit better. Even if it's cold out, try to put on that jacket, try to get outside for a little bit, take a little walk, maybe even put on a nature meditation, something that brings you that feeling that green spaces gives you. <laughs> Does that make any sense? You'll thank yourself. Can you all hear those frogs? They're just talking to each other. The rain probably made them so happy. They're like, yes, baby, give me more water. Miss, baby, give me more water. <laughs> Here's a little waterfall. <sighs> you can't beat that fresh Malibu air. That smells like billion dollar dreams. So now that we are along the water, we are in the true grotto area. It's a little bit more rugged here. Sturdy footed shoes are a good call. We just need to accept the bell is gonna get wet. Here we go. Oh, and Reed. Oh. oh, brutal. Here you go, bubs. Oh, lessons were learned from you. <laughs> <laughs> Which way do we go, Reed? That one says 422 feet, so let's go that way. This is the best water crossing of the three. Ooh. Ooh, it's cold. Are we at the end? I guess this is the end because yeah. it has this blockade. We'll see you at Matador State Park. <laughs> we are on the street. We found some free parking for El Matador State Park, but we gotta go because sunset's coming on up. Sunset, here we come, sunset, here we come. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. 
This place is most definitely famous for wedding shoots. You're gonna see a lot of people taking photos because it's just that beautiful. There is so much to take photos of in so many unique areas that you can find a little space just for yourself. But I will say it is busy. We're here on the off season as you know and it's still very busy here. So keep that in mind. After a fun-filled day out in the sun, we are finally going back to the van. See you in the morning, y'all. Welcome to the first light of a brand new day. Look at that. We came early for sunrise and we were able to secure a spot at the top, which is amazing. On the left side, you can see sea lions hanging out, talking to us. I feel so grateful to be here. And I hope all of you find something to be grateful for today. Something that brings you happiness, brings you calm, brings you joy on this beautiful day. There they are yelling. <laughs> I wonder what it would be like to be on that boat out there. I have been pretty sad about us not going to Baja this year. If you don't know, we went to Baja last year and we have a whole series. I was really sad because we weren't going to see any whales and any dolphins, or so I thought. <laughs> yeah, you've seen seals, <laughs> dolphins, cormorants, whales all in one morning. Lizards. This is the best morning ever, honestly. What? <laughs> there it is, there's the whale, there's the whale. There has been so much sea life that has passed through this area. The young feline smells the air as she seeks out a vole. Welcome to Zuma Beach! We got our snacks, we got our books, we got our sunscreen. We're gonna take a dip. We're gonna have a good time. What makes California better than Florida is just the fact that you have mountains and cliffs. It's not just all flat. And then it's not as muggy as humid. I was born in Miami, you see I'm a Dolphins fan. I love Florida, but let me know, what do you think is better? California coastline or Florida's coastline? Put it down in the comments below. I'm making us sandwiches, chickpea salad sandwiches. Our new goal while we're in California is to go to the beach at least once a week. Go swimming in the beach once a week because we'll come and watch the sunset, but not every time we come to the beach do we actually get in the water. Something about jumping in the ocean is revitalizing for the soul, you know? It's always nerve-wracking to go in. Oh, I don't it's know. gonna be cold, I don't wanna be wet after, la la la. And always then we excuses. come out and we're like, whoa! Yeah, as soon as you jump in, you're like, yo, dog it! <laughs> that, just like that? Yeah, just like, woo! You're alive, baby! I'm alive! Oh! <laughs> that was for Brandon, aka Limited Man. He's the body surfing king. I'm out here trying to channel my inner Brandon right now. Let's go catch some waves. That one ate me up. We are enjoying sunset here at the bottom of Point Doom. 
You have to pay for parking, but it was three dollars for us. It's very, very pretty out. We should have brought our swimsuits. Just kidding. It's not. It's not hot enough anymore to get in the water. This is a very, very nice beach. The energy here is immaculate. All right, let's go up. We're gonna go up to the point now. Um, I'd suggest parking at the bottom. I mean, you do have to pay, but there's very minimal parking at the top, which is what we did earlier. Right here is going to go into our travel journal. It's a really good memory and I'm excited to put it in there.